Uh, welcome back again for this car here, the XC6, and uh, with the same coat, I diagnosed the car here, and I see like, let me see the display, the full memory, here is what you have, uh, this is, let me do the plan, and then we see what code, VGT interface, uh, VGT interface, There is something there, no good. There is a problem here. I don't know what they, what they mean, but it look like it giving a different code, totally different code. Okay. All this transfer case. Transfer case interface. Let's see what code we have. It's the dealer information. This is one code, the signal from the engine request. Continue. Okay, go back, go back again, okay, I'm going to close this one, this is how the transfer case is, the same information that uh, they're giving to us, but I don't know where is the uh, number I'm gonna close this one. Yes. Let me go back. This one we found a problem. He said communication is okay. Yes, you see here, transfer case is not encoded for the vehicle. Now this is a code that we're looking for. I use Autologic, I use Hotel, I use um, uh, all kind of tools. They don't give me any information that I need. So let me see what the, what what does what does that mean. Yeah. All that was gonna happen. Okay. What are you programming? Recording. Hmm? You see, I try to reset, but it says it's failing. Reset one. I, I have to, to reset the transfer case data. Recording. Yeah. This is the same car we was checking? No, another one. Hmm? Another one? It's another one, yeah. Okay. It doesn't, it does it, but it doesn't want to reset. Believe me. Yeah, successful. Do you believe it does? Oh my goodness. It worked now. It worked? Mm -hmm, I don't know why before. Do you want to repeat the troubleshooting procedure? And after, yeah. So I did everything with it. I used is a customer car they selling this? Yeah, I use everything in the car. Mm -hmm. And believe me, vehicle management, vehicle information, I did everything. I'm going to start the vehicle test again. Wow.
Do you believe it? I was here with this car almost all day. Okay. All, all day. It doesn't want to do the reset. Till I have to do the dealer tool. And do that. The four by four. Everything pop up there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't want to go. It say not coded to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And when I put the, 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 the code, it doesn't want to go. Okay. Right now, finally, I was able to... Do you want to start the vehicle? Yes. Finally, it disappeared. Wow. Only the dealer tools have to do that. Wow. Believe me, only the dealer tool we are able to do it. This is why having different tools. I use mm -hmm. Snap-on. Mm -hmm. I use uh, Autologic. I use Hotel. But I with, use, with I use, guys, even have a dealer tool. Yeah, and I use I use auto hex, uh, auto hex, five tools. I use five tools. Mm -hmm. No work at all, five tools. Finally, using the dealer tools by step, and we are able to fix this problem. The hotel, I did it. It doesn't work so that we go through the let me see full coat now i'm gonna clear all the code and see but i did the reset even with all the tools encoding okay calculate this but delete delete ford memory please guys you have to so that means if you have that code you have to use a dealer tool to do the encoding if it's not it doesn't want to go Thank God. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. I don't have no message. And it's good. So resetting. So now I have only two codes. The transmission code is gone. There is no coding needed. Yeah, only two code. Let me see what it is. Frame, second brake, light, frame, everything. Thank you for watching more. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.